this is the video tutorial about a flow chart maker and diagramming tool called dia if you are teaching online and in particular for some of the subjects in which you need to explain something with the help of a flow diagram you will find this video very useful i will also show you how i create my video lectures at the end of this video from one of my course examples on control systems engineering for software engineers they might need to create a uml diagram this this tool is very helpful similarly for system engineers who might want to create sadt diagrams this tool is very helpful similarly you can create database diagrams and many other types of diagrams so stick around till the end and i'm sure you will find some value and we are starting right after this short break hello and welcome to my channel my name is tahir and if this is your first time please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified whenever i post a new video on this channel every tuesday and friday so first let me show you how you can get this tool and from where you can download so on google if you type dia download and press enter this is the website which i would recommend sourceforge.net you click on that and this is dia diagram editor and you can see how popular is this software only this week there were 13759 downloads you can also click on reviews and you will be able to see the latest reviews as well this is not a spamware this is not a spyware this is a genuine open source free diagram editor as you can see that it is available for windows mac and linux operating systems so when you click on download you will get this executable file dia setup and this is the version 0.97.2-2 then you can save this executable file and you simply click on that and it will install the software and i got this user interface and if i click on the left hand side here where there is flow chart there is an arrow and if i click on that arrow i have few main types of diagrams showing here but if i click on other as you can see that you have the ability to create a lot of different types of diagrams and the most popular are uml sadt database and flow chart but you have these ladder diagrams you have electric diagrams and a lot of others in this video we are going to focus only on the flow chart diagrams and if you want me to make a video on any other types of uh, diagram you can put in the comments and if i know about that particular subject i might make a video a diagram is basically a set of objects so all these are objects and when you are making a flow chart all of these symbols have particular meaning and we are not talking about those here because that is a different topic and i am sure that if you are here to understand how to make a flow chart you understand the meanings of all these our purpose is to understand how we can make this in dia so in order to create any of these objects what we can do is we can click on this and we can drag it inside this canvas so click and drag and it will be here and this object is in the selected state if i click outside now the object will be placed inside the canvas and let us say i want to connect a line so i click on line and i drag here a line will be created and this line is an arrow and this is because at this time the properties are set in this way if i double click on this a properties dialog box will appear and here as you can see that i have a start arrow meaning arrow on one side and it is not selected but end arrow is selected so therefore i am having one arrow at one side so if i click here and i select this line on both ends and i click on apply and okay now my line will be a line segment in order to move this from here to any of these connecting points i click on this and i drag and 
I can put it closer to any point and it will be connected. It will show me red. And now if I click on this green end, click and drag, I can change the size. And if I want a horizontal line and I can leave my cursor and it will be placed here. Now if I click on this object and drag, as you can see that now the line is attached. And if I want to convert this to arrow, I can simply click here and I can change this to arrow. Very simple. Then I can put another object here and I can click and drag and I can release it at any place. Then I can click on the line. If I click on this green dot and drag, so when I go closer, it will change the color and wherever I want, I can release this just like this. I can select all this. I can click and drag and wherever I want, I can move all this diagram together. Now, as you can see that my canvas is at the moment white and my color of the lines and object is black. I can change this anytime by going into file and preferences. And if I click on diagram defaults, as you can see that background color is selected white. All F means white. And if I click here, I can select background color to let's say green and I click apply and OK. And I create a file new. Now the background color will be green. Now another diagram tab will appear here for this one. Now let us close this. To resize this object, I click on that and I can drag from any handle. So these are few handles shown as a green dot. And then again, I can click on this and I can change any other properties. For example, let us say I want to fill this with a green color. So this is fill color white and I can change this to green and press OK. If I want to change the color of the line, I click on that and this is line color now and I can change this to red for example. And if I want to put an arrow on this side, as I mentioned earlier, I can simply put an arrow here and it will be an arrow on the other side. Similarly, we have other shapes. Let's say I put this ellipse here. I can resize the ellipse, whatever I want. Then there is a text option. If I click here and then click somewhere in my canvas, I can write some text and if I double click on this, I can set the text properties, the font of the text. There are many fonts available. These are the fonts which I have recently used, but there are a lot of other fonts also available. You can change the size. So let's say I change this to a little bigger size and I click apply. Text size will change. You can also change color. Similarly, if I click on this normal, I have oblique, bold and both bold and oblique options. Let's say I click on bold and apply, text will be bold. You can close this and let me show you uh, some of my diagrams which I have created in DIA. And this is my control system course and in this course, uh, this is the folder where I have my DIA diagrams. And as you can see that I have this DIA, which is the format of uh, this uh, software. And then I have a PNG. So I always export in this format. So let me click on this DIA diagram. As you can see that this is my diagram, which I created for my control system course. And then I simply go to file, export and export as a PNG, very simple. And after that, I upload this uh, PNG to Canva, uh, which is uh, a website where you can create designs. And I put this diagram into my presentation. And then I use that image in my video lectures. And this is how I create uh, my lectures. So this is a wonderful tool for online teaching. You can create your diagrams, India, export as PNG, create a design on Canva, take the size 1920 by 1080, download and put in your lecture. And if you don't want these rulers, you can click on this view and then you can uncheck this show rulers. But I normally 
put these rulers on similarly you can remove the grid as well and have a plain background now at the lower left corner i have these two settings and what i can do here is that there are various line widths available here so if i draw any object let me draw this so one way to change the line width is i double click on this and i change the line width here so let me increase this line width and i apply so the line width will increase and if i look here on the left hand side this is current uh, line width and if i change this to this thicker one and now i draw any object so this object will be of this thickness which you can check by double clicking on this and you can check here 0.2 size so you can change the default options here similarly you can change the default foreground and background colors for the new objects here so if i click here i change this to red press okay next time i draw something here its color will be red so when you click first time it switches between foreground and background and if you click second time it shows you these colors and now if i click this color and press okay next time if i draw something as you can see that these two colors are used here so these are the two different ways to change the so this is it about uh, various features of dia i hope that uh, you should be able to get started with this software and if you have any questions please put in the comments and we can discuss further so i hope you like this video if so please give it a thumbs up thanks for watching and see you next time